Sean Stevenson and Mindy Kniss are just like any other married couple. Despite the fact that Sean suffers from brittle bone disorder and is only 2 foot 8 inches tall. It's a joy to get to be married to this woman. Not a day goes by where I don't tell her I love her probably 8,000 times. 8, times. <laughs> I think people, when they look at our marriage, they think how sweet of a person Mindy is to be in love with me. And if they only knew how much I take care of her and put up with her, they would be seeing yeah, me as the saint. they've got it all backwards. <laughs> I'm the saint in this marriage, trust me. The motivational speakers married in September 2012 after meeting in 2009. They share a home together in Arizona, USA, and Sean tries to maintain as much independence as possible. On a daily basis, Sean actually doesn't need that much help. Typically what he might need help with is showering. And he likes that because he gets to hang out with a naked woman. <laughs> yeah. The 35-year-old was born with osteogenesis imperfecta, or brittle bone disorder. And by the time he was 18, had suffered over 200 fractures in his legs, arms, neck, collarbone, ankle, femur and nose. I can't just mindlessly go to the store by myself. I have to be aware of my surroundings because the littlest bump or step down off of a, a larger curb could be fatal to me. You know, that's something that's just a part of my life and it's uh, something that also brings a lot of gifts too. Nobody uh, forgets Sean Stevenson after they meet him. But it's just the normal ups and downs of marriage that the couple contends with most. Not easy. I mean, there are days. That's true. There are days where we will have to spend an entire day talking through hurt or frustration or upset or confusion, and we do our best to work through it. The relationship itself isn't always effortless, so we're willing to do the work to maintain that bond, and then typically it just grows stronger. After two years of marriage, the couple still receive hate mail from internet trolls suggesting that Sean would be unable to satisfy Mindy and that she's only with him for his money. I think Mindy would be the first to admit I'm the most sexual, uh, aggressive... Person that I probably have ever met in my life. Yeah, on the planet. Ever yeah. met and in so my life. And so sex is a very important part of my life. Despite their happiness, Sean's condition has meant the decision to have children of their own has not been an easy one to make. It truly is the flip of a coin. So we could you know, 50-50 chance, either have a kid with OI or... We've gone back and forth on whether it would be, you know, a good thing or a bad thing, or did we want to or not want to bring a child into this world. But having children is a matter of when and not if for the couple. I spent a lot of time in Africa and just saw kids that needed parents. So there are so many children out there that could use great parents. So adoption may be an option for us if we choose to go down that path. The couple are planning on buying their own home, which they'll modify for Sean within the next five years and are completely focused on their marriage and businesses instead of other people's opinions. I think people are uncomfortable with the idea that those with disabilities are normal human beings <laughs> and that they have sexual desires and fantasies and enjoy being touched and touching and so I think it's a big statement more about people's um, uncomfortableness with their own bodies and the thought of the disabled having sex lives. 